Our science guy, Steve Spangler, is here. We're learning some science behind something we saw this weekend. We did. We saw these fire tornadoes. Douglas County reported these yeah. fire tornadoes. Chris Bianchi, our meteorologist, mm -hmm. did such a great job yesterday kind of explaining it. I was watching going, oh, got to do this on the 4 o'clock. It would be fantastic. Now, when you think of a tornado, you think of it a whole bunch of different ways. Typically, we think of winds whipping up. If you're a kid, like, look what you have here. So show everybody. Kids can't make a fire tornado. But look, here's a simple thing. So uh, here's our bottle filled with water. And so if I asked you to dump the water out as fast as you can, normally you would dump like this. As the air comes in, the water comes out. Air comes in, water comes out. But the trick to dumping these is you put your hand on the top. Go ahead. So pick it up. Oh, you got to pick up the bottle. Okay. Hand on the bottom. So hold on to the bottom like this. So you just got to, yeah. there you go. Yep. There you go. Now turn the whole thing upside down. Okay. Good job. Now you swirl. So swirl it like this. And then stop and pull your hand out and watch what happens. Oh my oh. God! Oh look wait, at that. why there does yours? Oh wait, oh, okay. goes there it goes so yeah, fast. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Look there how you go. his has yeah, a there tornado. You go. Just a little bit. There, there you go. Swirl. A little but bit more. But that was fast. That is fast. So look at that. Air comes up, water comes down. Air comes up, water huh. comes down. It's fast that way. And look, I just get the water everywhere. That's my me. My kids like that. That's part. me. And look at this. Yes. And then you remember this, Kim? You remember we had the guy who invented this on mm. uh, the show. Craig Burnham invented that. That tornado too used to be a super popular toy. So many years ago and you'd spin it like this and you'd create that vortex in oh, there. I know so that there toy. you go. Remember yes. that toy from a long time ago? So as the air as the water goes down, the uh, the air kind of goes up and you see that swirl that's inside there. All right. That uh, is what you kind of think of. What we saw, however, are these fire nados. And how in the world is that produced? Gravity is pulling the water down, but in a fire nado, it's the air that's kind of coming up. Let me show you what it looks like over Scary. here. So again, we tell people at home not to do this at home, but look at the setup that I have here for you. So I have a trash can so and a Lazy Susan. So the trash can sitting on the Lazy Susan like that. And so, and now we'll just kind of spin it around. Now, here's what I want you to see. When we light this on fire, that's what your safety glasses okay. are for. So when we okay. light this on fire, that hot air will rise, just like a fire that we saw in Douglas County. But then, then the winds hit from the side Wind and whip hit. it around. Well, that's what this little screen does. It's gonna grab the air and start to spin it. Okay. So watch, like this by itself does nothing. So it's just okay. there. But watch what happens when it spins. When you spin it like this and you start to get that air spinning, wow. look at that. Now watch what it does, it goes up high. Yes, so now high. it hits treetops. And once it hits treetops, now oh it jumps gosh. from tree to tree to tree. That's what makes it so dangerous. And as Chris Bianchi pointed out, it creates sometimes its own weather pattern. And because these get so big over time. What if it's, it's really fast it's, wind and it yeah, spins really fast? Uh, it's cr and they'll jump from one to the next to the next. So firefighters have the hardest time uh, fighting that kind of thing. My own son, Scott. Remember little Scotty? Yeah. Scotty's now in California learning to fight fires and cut down. He's with Forest Corps. And so here we are talking about this kind of stuff. I've been talking about this on the news forever. But now my own son is kind of sitting there looking uh, at this kind of thing as well. So it's just amazing. What a hero. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's just learning. Just learning hey. along the way. But you kind of see it. And You've been doing a lot with teachers this summer. I haven't seen you a lot. So the yeah. reason on the fourth, some people have said, are you not at Nine News anymore? No, I've been traveling yeah, a ton. Didn't you go to like There's, Iceland or something? Well, we take teachers to Iceland and we take yes. them to Alaska. But um, uh, these are teacher conferences. That's what great teachers do is they go to conferences yep. all over the country. Everybody thinks they're just chilling in the summer. Are that you kidding? No, they're true. not. They're yes, not. That Thank you for that. that. The, the yep. old joke is uh, teaching is great because it must be nice to work eight to three and have your summers free. No. That's not a good teacher. Well, hey, I'm up in Loveland next week with an early childhood conference uh, and uh, it's just all these conferences around the country remind me that teachers are motivated no matter what's going on with our government no matter what no political things but I'm just simply saying no matter what's going on teachers the great ones seem to be focused yeah, and they're like I'm going to do what's best for kids so we as parents all need to thank teachers I always ask them I seen the same thing to a doctor I go what's the latest conference you've been to and so I do it with teachers all the time what's the latest thing you've been to what did you learn and what's changing them. no <laughs> no hopefully they're coming to great conferences and they're learning to yep. be a better teacher and how to engage and connect with those kids on a higher level. All so, good. You all taught fun. us a lot today. Thank you. There you go. Me. You got a little fire NATO out of the deal as well. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. We'll be right back. Thanks.